All right, Silver Screen Dudes, I'm gonna ask you all a favor. This movie is directed by Mel Gibson. I want everyone to remove the art from the artists. Whatever your personal opinions are about Mel Gibson the man, I probably agree with them, leave them at the door and go into this movie and enjoy it. So Hacksaw Ridge is the incredible story of real life war hero Desmond Doss. He's the first ever conscientious objector who received the Medal of Honor. Conscientious objector meaning he didn't want to carry guns. Now this story is true and I am so glad that it's been told because I guarantee you there's not enough people out there who have heard or know the story of Desmond Doss. Granted there's going to be a few Hollywood dramatic and sentimental spins put on this but for most part from what I've read after having seen this movie because it fucking fascinated me this story is true. Remember this throughout this review and throughout watching the movie because it's fucking incredible what this guy went through. So the movie focuses on Andrew Garfield's character Desmond Doss and it's very much like Full Metal Jacket. It's a movie of two parts. You've got the beginning where he's actually going through the training in the first half of the movie and the second half of the movie where he's actually at war. Now he's fantastic at the training until we come to the point where they ask him to carry a gun. And for reasons we don't yet know, he completely objects. We're made to think that it's to do with the fact that he's a very religious man, but as the story carries on we do find out it's a lot more than that. But he chooses to not carry a gun. And from this point on, the pain and torment and borderline torture through bullying that he's put through by his peers, by the captains and generals, and then by the Supreme Court, is, is insane to think that this guy wants to become a military medic and they, he's passing all of the tests, he's one of the best in his group, but because he won't fire a shot, they're gonna put him in jail, they're not gonna let him actually participate in the war, and given that it's World War II, at this time, one of the biggest honors for the young boys of the USA was to go and represent their country. As they say again and again in the movie, he's ashamed that he won't be able to represent his country. I have to give a little bit away. Obviously, the court rule is overturned and he is allowed to go to the war. Obviously, because otherwise it wouldn't really be a war movie, would it? And now the first part of the movie is, is not slow, it's intriguing. It's incredible to see how this guy who's a little bit different, but who has such strong religious views about the world and about the goodness in people and about how he doesn't want to take life it is fascinating and it's touching it's moving then we cut to actually him being in Okinawa Japan where Hacksaw Ridge is located if you imagine the famous White Cliffs of Dover in a little bit of smaller version the Japanese are at the top the US troops are at the bottom they climb up a big cargo net and basically get mowed down now the point is is to take this ridge obviously this is a Mel Gibson movie when the war starts the action kicks in and it gets really brutal really quickly and like all Mel Gibson action scenes it's it's breathtaking you're left breathless it's incredible stuff and this constant action is juxtaposed perfectly with Andrew Garfield jumping in and out of cover saving every single man that gets injured the tall and short of it is that Desmond Doss saves over a hundred people on Hacksaw Ridge from death without firing a single shot the acting in this movie from start to end is solid. Vince Vaughn, who we don't normally see playing another character other than himself, really turns in a great performance as the drill sergeant. Sam Worthington is back and it's nice to see him back in a role other than Avatar or those god-awful Titans movies. He's fantastic as the captain, but if Andrew Garfield is not nominated for a Best Actor award, I'm not saying he's going to win because I haven't seen other movies this year, but the kid needs to be nominated. It is one of the performances of the year. I feel like I'm almost underselling it to you guys but I, I'm gonna go out on a limb here Full Metal Jacket is one of my favorite war movies of all time I think Hacksaw Ridge is every bit as good as it how dare you say that it's, it's true it's a movie of two halves just like Full Metal Jacket you've got the training like in Full Metal Jacket now whereby the training in Full Metal Jacket is arguably a lot more entertaining I actually think the training in Hacksaw Ridge is a lot more engaging as opposed to just being an arcadey feast of swearing and violence this is a much more human story and the war scenes in Hacksaw Ridge are on a much bigger level of quality than those in Full Metal Jacket fact not opinion guys in conclusion Hacksaw Ridge is 
a fantastic movie. For me, from the rubbish that I've seen throughout most of the summer, this is now the gold standard. Oscar season is officially here, thank God. Guys, I am giving Hacksaw Ridge a well-deserved and massive 9.5 out of 10. This is nearly perfect movie making, the story is engaging, the action is superlative, the acting is incredible. And this might upset a lot of people, but I'm gonna say it. We, the world needs Mel Gibson. The world needs more of Mel Gibson. Go back to what I said at the beginning of the review. Forget about Mel Gibson, the man. I don't care about him as the man. Focus on Mel Gibson, the artist. The quality of his movies, be it Braveheart, Apocalypto, Passion of the Christ, and now Hacksaw Ridge, is indisputable. I'm gonna be surprised if this movie isn't nominated for Best Director, Best Movie, and it needs to get Andrew Garfield nominated for Best Actor. This movie is incredible from start to finish, and the conclusion had me bawling in the cinema, to the degree where it got a unanimous round of applause. I actually kickstarted that one, and I'm very proud I did. This movie is incredible. Go see it now. Gold standard, movie of the year, until proven otherwise. Go see Hacksaw Ridge. So over to you guys. What did you think of Hacksaw Ridge and what is your favorite war movie and what is your favorite Mel Gibson movie? Leave your thoughts and your comments below, please. And give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends, family, and any movie fan you may know. And until next time, from the Silver Screen Dudes, see ya.